Hello vlog people, I am now at the Tyra Banks show. I'm in my dressing room. I feel like this is a shot from, this is like a Brian De Palma shot from Carrie. Anyway, I'm in my dressing room. I've just been briefed to go over my show. I have not done a show like this, as I've mentioned. I've never, um, I've gone on, you know, as myself when I'm promoting something, a record or a TV show or a Broadway show or whatever. But to go on as a political person, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my. Well, you know what? I'm just, I'll be myself and I'll speak from my heart and tell my truth and hope for the best. And it's Tyra. Love Tyra. Hello vlog people. I am now en route to the airport. I'm finished with the Tyra Banks show. I'm finished with my reading of First Wives Club. I'm on the, in the car on this miserable, rainy, snowy day, which thank God none of it's sticking and it better not because if this plane is delayed five seconds, I'm going to walk to Los Angeles. Um, Anyway, the Tyra Banks show was very interesting. I'll let you know the air date. Um, I met some very interesting people and one really scary person, two kind of scary people, but one in particular that you could tell was kind of just a mean person from when I even saw her down the hall. I'm like, oh, I wonder if she's the one because they had adversaries. And you could just tell that she was so uptight. I mean, you know, they shake your, she's like, shake your hand. I'm a fan of your work. And then literally the words like immoral and pedophile come out of their mouths. Scary. Anyway, it wasn't exactly the peaceful platform for a point of view, but it was interesting, and um, I enjoyed myself, and I met some very interesting people. In fact, I'll tell you more about it later. But there was this one attorney, this woman who's an attorney, woman, black, Christian, straight, who was totally about equal rights. Well, I'll just tell you now. And was talking about studies that have proven that kids growing up with two gay parents are actually more adjusted, more well adjusted, more confident, more open to uh, to new things, less judgmental, are growing up to be better citizens. Isn't that interesting? Unfortunately, because of the uh, scary, uptight, leather clad uh, right wing person who loves you but hates you at the same time, um, she didn't get to make that point. So I'm making it to you now. Anyway, to be continued, I'll let you know the air date. I just can't wait to be home with my family. Anyway, thanks vlog people. Do something wonderful for somebody. I'll tell you what you can do wonderful for somebody. When given the choice between hearing something bad and being silent or speaking out, speak out. Silence equals joining. So today when you encounter something, whatever, a racial slur, or any kind of like that, and you hear something and you decide Oh, I'll just keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Say, you know what? That's not, I don't, I'm not, it makes me uncomfortable. I wish you wouldn't speak that way. That's not, I don't believe that. Do that. Do something wonderful for somebody. Because whenever there's discrimination or prejudice, we suffer as a whole, as a country. It is not just the person who the prejudice or discrimination is directly about. So that's what I ask of you to do today. And I will try to do the same.